The following is a presentation of the Alliance-Wrestling.com. Hey guys, this is Jake Cow's View. Thanks for tuning in. Your listenership is truly appreciated. Um, hopefully you're listening to us on anchor.fm forward slash j dash cow. If not, hey, you could also hear us on iTunes. We're available on Google Play, plus a lot of other podcasting services. That's what's great about Anchor is they take your content and they just distribute it. Um, a new feature that we're doing today is and you might be already uh, aware of this if you're watching this video this podcast is going to simultaneously go up on twitch.tv forward slash alliance wrestling uh, we're trying to partner with twitch to create some more wrestling related content you'll see it up at twitch.tv forward slash alliance wrestling um, interviews more podcasting podcasts from the vault um, some wrestling matches that i personally filmed in the past and some wrestling matches that i didn't film but uh the uh, creator of that content allowed me to distribute it on Twitch. So check that out and take a look because that is uh, some real exciting stuff. We really wanted to partner with Twitch to help um, bridge that gap to try to get more uh, eyeballs to alliance-wrestling.com and hopefully um, you know, bring some more wrestling fans back into the fold. Um, as you guys know, this is podcast is all about content creation from me and which is really cool because I get to report that uh, last week, um, Pro Wrestling in, uh, Insider uh, ran two of my stories um, recently on their website. The cool thing about that is um, after we returned from China for the uh, Championship Wrestling from Hollywood taping, I wasn't sure if that content was going to be seen by the light of day. Mike Johnson at Pro Wrestling Insider came through it for me and I Truly appreciate that. Shout out to Mike Johnson. I uh, I met Mike a couple years ago at a Wrestling Cares Association event in um, Southern California, and uh, we have had a good relationship since. I've uh, in the past have uh, reviewed Championship Wrestling from Hollywood on his site. And if you guys want to go see those articles, please visit Pro Wrestling or PWInsider.com and just search for Jay Cal. You'll see those articles. It's uh, pretty cool. Um, the next thing is I'm going to be going to a wrestling wrestling show on the 14th, which is tomorrow, Thursday. That's why I really want to get this podcast done. Um, Peter and Ray here in our birthday suits trying to tell you to come to our birthday party show. Ooh, the Peter and Ray Surprise Birthday Party Wrestling Show, live from the American Legion Post 335 in Southgate, California, Thursday, June 14th. That's a... Uh, our, our birthday. Our, our, both our birthdays. Can you believe it? There's going to be wrestling. There's going to be games. There's going to be prizes. There's going to be booze. It's going to be good times had all around. And brought to you by us. That's right. Please, get your tickets at HollywoodWrestling.com and come join us on our birthday. It's going to be wild. Bring us lots of presents. Lots of presents. Lots, all the presents. Every present. Yeah, so you could see Peter and Ray are excited about their surprise birthday party. Um... The main event of the night is going to be the Hollywood Heritage title. Big defense for Willie Mack as he takes on not only the former champion, Big Tito, but also the machine, Brian Cage. And that guy is incredible. In fact, all three of those guys are incredible. So I'm really looking forward to that match. Plus, there's going to be this Combat Zone Wrestling Championship is going to be defended. MJF versus Tyler Bateman. That's going to be an incredible matchup in it of itself. Plus, you'll see PP Ray, uh, Ruby Rays, a lot of great wrestling. If you guys are in Southern California, definitely want to come to the uh, AWS Arena on Thursday to check out the uh, surprise birthday party. I also do another podcast with uh, DKM and Jaden from the uh, Dangerous Adrenaline Wrestling Gladiators, and we do a podcast called The Alliance Guys, and there we focus on mostly NWA content, but we do talk about all kinds of wrestling. Recently, uh, Al Snow made some comments about the NWA champions, not not Nick Aldis, but the era before him, the Tim Storms. Well, basically, from the time that TNA and the NWA ended their agreement of working together with um, until uh, Billy Corgan purchased the NWA. So we're talking about champions like Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. You know, the guy that basically took the title all around the world in a short amount of time. He had five reigns, defended in Ring of Honor, defended in Mexico, defended in Canada on pay-per-view, defended in uh, 
uh, excuse me, in England, uh, in Germany, and of course Australia. Um, the Seven Levels of Hate documentary he did with uh, Colt Cabana was uh, highly acclaimed. Um, also defended the title on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. It defended the title on NWA Mountain State Wrestling. Um, his matches were actually uh, syndicated and aired in Australia as part of the On Fire um, NWA on fire deal. Uh, then we have Brent Albright who won the championship in a Ring of Honor ring. Um, we have Blue Demon Jr. who when, when he was champion he was the first NWA champion post TNA to take the title to Japan, take the title to England, um, did a lot of defenses in Arizona, California, actually had to, uh, headlined a few arena shows for uh, championship wrestling from Hollywood. Then there was also um, Colt, but Cabana, and we'll be honest, the NWA wasn't really kind to Colt. His time as champion really uh, was kind of butchered, to be honest, and there's reasons for that, but we won't get into that here. If you want to know more, just go to the Seven Levels of Hate. Go see that uh, documentary, and that kind of explains a lot. Plus, you'll see me for about five seconds. Then, um, also, the, uh, moving on from the next phase, there was Tokyo Monster Cahagas, who was the first wrestler to take the title to uh, the Dominican Republic, at least in the modern era of wrestling. Um, there was uh, Rob Conway, who defended that title in New Japan, uh, wrestled on New Japan pay-per-views, um, really credited with being the first wrestler to take that title to a meaningful Japanese promotion as champion. Uh, there was... Satoshi Kojima, who as a New Japan pro wrestling uh, contracted wrestler, New Japan pro wrestling contracted wrestler, defended that title in the Southwest, Mid South, Tennessee, Texas, and even had to defense in Nevada. And then Hiroshi Tenzin uh, would also defend that title in um, Texas while being a New Japan pro wrestling based wrestler. Jax Dane, who unified the world, North American, and national titles. And then Tim Storm, who did take the title to Japan, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't a promotion as highly regarded as New Japan Pro Wrestling. So Al Snow's comments regarding the NWA title, uh, although he says they weren't disparaging, I kind of thought that they were. Although uh, Billy Gunn is a fine wrestler, I don't think that he would have made much of a difference as champion as opposed to the you know ten or so names that I mentioned um, in that time span. Um, if you want to hear the whole podcast that the Alliance guys did, just uh, go to blogtalkradio.com forward slash, I believe it's Alliance Wrestling. I want to put the link here, but if you're listening to it, you might just want to visit alliance-wrestling.com and you can get the actual link. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to be interviewing uh, referee Robert Odie Brown. A lot of you guys know him as Odie. Maybe you guys don't know him at all, but he's a referee out here in Southern California. He also referees in Northern California. Um, he's refereed NWA World Heavyweight title matches in Hollywood. And we had a great discussion over the weekend about wrestling. And what I'd like to do that for you guys, I'd like to talk about wrestling with Odie Brown. So um, stay tuned uh, to Blog Talk Radio for that podcast. And, um, you know, again, guys, I, I really appreciate your listenership. I really appreciate you guys visiting the website. Uh, we've been working on this website consecutively for 11 years, and I think that's pretty phenomenal. We have a small uh, fan base, and but we, we're trying to service the NWA fans, the United Wrestling Network fans, and you'll see there's more content popping up daily. We've partnered with Adam Rotella, um, who does a great podcast. Um, I know Adam from Twitter. I've never actually met the guy, but uh, we talk quite a bit on Twitter. You could follow him at... Adam underscore Rotella. Um, we also do feature his show on alliance-wrestling.com, the 10 pounds of podcast. Make sure you check that out because I think it's uh, it's fun. It's uh, tongue in cheek and I think you guys will enjoy it, especially because he's all in. I mean, he's literally doing a podcast every day until all in. Um, also, Scott Brown has returned to our writing staff and he's already done a great interview with uh, I can't remember the gentleman's name, but from Virginia Pro Wrestling, who challenged Nova, excuse me, Nova, which is in Virginia, Nova Pro Wrestling, who, and he recently cha challenged uh, Nick Aldis, the national treasure, for the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. Well, that's going to do it for today, guys. Um, 
I won't be doing Adam Rotella doing a podcast every day, but we'll try to get as many of these as we can. And again, uh, stay tuned in the following weeks. We're going to be featuring content again from the uh, surprise birthday party. Hopefully I can get some interviews. If you want to check out the photos from the event, make sure you visit our Instagram at uh, forward slash alliance, the word dash wrestling. Uh, stay with us on Twitter uh, at the Alliance blog. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Alliance Wrestling, and uh, the Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Alliance Wrestling. We're producing a lot of content. We hope you guys are enjoying the ride. We're hoping you're enjoying the Aldous Crusade, what the NWA is doing, what the United Wrestling Network is doing, and I hope the passion that we have for wrestling uh, is reflected in you guys. Until next time, this is Jay Cow. This is Jay Cow's View, and we'll see you real soon.